If this is your first time to the channel, consider subscribing, press the bell icon and never miss an update. Okay folks, so today uh, I have some plans. It's almost like 5.30, 5.40 now and in a couple of hours we will be in complete darkness but the positive is there is good amount of ambient light now plus there is a big street light there and also full um, garage is very well lit so i think i can pull this off because before it goes too dark so the plan for the zen is um, the zen tailpipe is actually looking pretty bland so you know though it doesn't have a free flow exhaust but the tail doesn't tailpipe doesn't look that great so in order to fix that what i have done is i have actually bought uh, this tailpipe so this costed me around 1800 rupees i know it's expensive but kind of looks cool so the only problem with it is is if i fix this it will fix like this so this much of it will be outside which is not a great idea so it will look kind of ugly so what i'm doing is i'm going to cut this so that it sits at least like this so it looks little cooler than what it would look if i fix it on this right now so that is plan number one plan number two is to ceramic coat the rxz uh, the rxz basically i don't know what that guy is looking for there anyhow so there is a lot of overspray on it if i don't know if you can see it but it's kind of little um, you know little hazy so what i'm planning to do is i'm planning to polish this um, but the challenge would be the tail piece because we'll we might have to remove that uh, carrier thing and then we'll have to do the tail piece polishing so after that uh, or after it is polished we will apply ceramic coat this is the ceramic coat which is here um, and then what we do every sunday is something that i'm going to attempt which is washing this guy this guy will obviously be washed then washing that guy and then the rx100 so that is my plan today uh, i hope i'm able to do justice however there is another thing that i wanted to show you so there is a bunch of rxz panels which are lying here um, so this tank um, i'm going to paint it in the five speed uh, red maroonish red color so that is going to be done soon but before that i have to attempt some repair repair so these panels i actually got free like this tail piece i mean the engine panel has a small piece broken off so that we will have to um, you know cut from some panel that i have and then fix this which is not very difficult then uh, there is this panel this doesn't have a lot of issues it's like okay panel it has all the mounting sections fine but there is a small cinch mark here so i'll have to probably sand it remove the sticker completely sand it in such a way that this looks good uh, so let me jump there sorry about the mess because i was trying to do something uh, so this panel is the right side panel but uh, as you can see this is broken so and this is another panel that i have that also has this piece missing so we'll have to do something about this get little creative here but uh, this is missing the piece here also and there is a small crack here so what i'm thinking is this section of this panel is good so i'm thinking of cutting this and grafting it onto this so um, it's easier said than done but you know uh, there is a plan that I have so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it from here same thing I'm going to cut from here so once I cut it then I will stitch it using uh, soldering iron and then uh, we'll 
put some you know uh, cloth like a muslin cloth here and then on top of it we will apply araldite so that it is properly plastic welded we'll do a similar exercise on this side also but not to an extent that it shows outside and then we will sand the whole thing and it will look as good as new so that is the plan about this but i don't think that is going to happen in this video uh, so this video uh, before the sun goes down i have to fix the zen so let's start with the zen i'll put you guys on a tripod first i have to locate where the tripod is so yeah let's do it and uh, i hope you guys enjoy the show So uh, the tailpipe is little lower than what I wanted it to be. Basically, I wanted it to come little up. So what I'll do is I'll get a piece of it cut, and then I'll have this pointing a bit up, and then I'll fix this. But this is pretty strong. It's not going anywhere, as you can see. Uh, so. Maybe sometime later I will get it uh, properly done, weld it to this because I mean otherwise this thing is going to fall off somewhere. So we will get it welded. Uh, right now it is pretty strong, it is not going anywhere. So I am not going to jump on the RXZ immediately because anyways I have to wash the vehicle so all three will be washed together and after washing I will have to polish that. So. I'll come back in some time and then so I've kind of dismantled the RXZ to cut and polish this so as you can see everything the carrier and everything is removed so my plan is first to wash it and then I have some sandpapers like there is a 2000 grit and there's a 1500 grit so I'll apply that sandpaper on this and then after that I will use my buffing machine to buff it. Once it is completely cut and polished then um, we will apply the ceramic coating. So though I started this process in the evening now it's pretty late. So I'll have to be quick otherwise this won't happen today. So I'll put you guys on a tripod and let's just speed this thing through and hopefully get the ceramic coated today itself. So this is how people might think that you ruin a perfectly beautiful paint job. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually taking the uh, high spots with the sandpaper and making it as level as possible. So 1500 is actually a little abrasive but uh, the next one the 2000 will bring a slight shine to the entire thing after that once we uh, apply the polishing compound things will change further so what i am thinking of doing is uh, i am thinking of taking the engine guard off the bike and then 
completing the process and all the tree sap and everything is gone there were some dust spots so I almost took it if you take a lot of material it is very difficult and if you burn through the clear or paint then things become more difficult so I tried not to do that um, this cutting and polishing should only happen once okay after that next time you do you basically clay the whole thing and then you know do a slight less abrasive polish and then do the uh, ceramic coating so ceramic coating actually stays for almost six months um, so yeah let me go ahead and put you guys back on the tripod and finish the process <laughs> So um, off camera what I have done is I have actually polished it once again. So I will show you guys what I used to polish it. Um, this has come out really well. As you can see almost everything is shiny but make sure that you wash the bike after you polish because there is a lot of residue that happens. And overall the bike started looking nice, it's gleaming. Um, after I wipe it with isopropyl alcohol then I am going to apply the ceramic coat so I hope uh, you understood the procedure if not please comment and we can clear any doubts if you guys have so isopropyl alcohol that is what I used to clean the entire bike and I put the visor back because it would be easy to manage it with it on but the uh, belly pan or the engine guard is something that we can uh, you know handle without installing on the bike so that would be easy so now it put it is as simple as just applying the ceramic coat and just wiping it off so what i'll do is i have a green microfiber towel so i will use apply the ceramic using the applicator pad that came with the ceramic and then I'll wipe it off with the microfiber towel. So the ceramic coating is complete, uh, now we have to wait for almost 18 to 24 hours for it to cure, that is when it will start repelling water. So right now it is important that we don't get this wet, so and also there shouldn't be any fingerprints or anything. Uh, so I took the belly pan separately and that has been also coated polished all the processes have been through so as everything is off maybe tomorrow i'll change the cat silencer as well because i'm not very happy with the kind of performance i'm getting on this one but it's a pain in the wrong place because i have to remove everything i have to remove the footrest i have to remove the silencer then i have to also remove the uh, l bracket so yeah let's see uh, so we'll show the results of the ceramic coating tomorrow in the morning once it gets cured so we'll catch up then so as you can see the rxz is all dry 
and shiny so that was a successful job uh, now I'll pour some water on it and demonstrate how well this wades water so let me get some water first So uh, yesterday, while uh, you know cutting the whole thing, I at the last instead after using the Maguire's, I used this compound because this is my favorite compound. I was not able to find it before I was uh, you know using the Maguire's. So I would sincerely advise you guys to buy this instead of Maguire's. You need not use an electronic. I mean an electric buffer machine you can use your hand if you have an old t-shirt or an old uh, you know banyan use that and completely uh, you know wipe it once you apply it so it is it is pretty easy and after that you just wipe it with uh, some cotton waste and then you know this will give you similar results and the chances of the paint burning off while using a buffing machine is much higher so it is always better to do it with hand but you know it takes a bit more time so for the video I had to use the buffing machine so the ceramic coat is available on Amazon I'll post a link below so all the uh, ceramic coats are almost similar there is nothing major different so I have applied kind of two coats on everything so I hope it uh, does what it says on the box that it will stay for six months um, so this is one bike done now we have to probably in the upcoming videos we have to do the RX100 the RD 350 and also the Zen uh, the cruise is going for a complete paint uh, because I'm not happy with the way the paint is on it right now it looks great from like two three feet but once you come closer it shows all the flaws so we will give this for paint in coming days and then you know hopefully this will also be ceramic coated so uh, like I said um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, I really enjoyed making it so if you did please support the channel help the channel to grow share it with like-minded friends this is not just uh, Yamaha RXZ or a two-stroke bike where you can perform this this can be done on any motorcycle or car the procedure is exactly the same so I hope you guys would share it with your friends if you didn't like anything on this video or if you think that something needs to be done a little differently please please feel free to comment and i hope you guys have a wonderful day ahead bye bye